we are re-examining our relationship with China, the source of the virus, and whether it was deliberate or deliberately misleading. Right now, the read on all of that with retired Brigadier General Anthony Tata. Um, General, good to have you. You've heard the stories in the back and forth. They recently, that is the Chinese, up the number of deaths that are being reported out of Wuhan to a little over 3,000, but their, their total death count right now is remarkably low when you consider a little bit more than 8,800 uh, compared to where we are, that it isn't and doesn't seem realistic. So even now, are, are you trusting the numbers you're getting out of China? I would not trust anything that comes out of China right now. You know, what happened, uh, it's really, um, whether it was a deliberate um, manufactured virus or uh, something that uh, happened, an accident in the Wuhan uh, uh, testing center there, uh, the, the Chinese government deliberately withheld information, deliberately manipulated information. And the numbers that you just articulated are an example of that. Uh, they suppressed uh, whistleblowers who were trying to talk about how bad this was, and particularly the human-to-human -human, uh, contagion aspect of this, that uh, China uh, said it was not um, WH, and then uh, the WHO uh, was a puppet for China and said the same thing. And so uh, it is uh, was a deliberate act of misinformation by the Chinese government, and it is tantamount to detonating a nuclear bomb accidentally and killing 150,000 people. It's the same thing, in my view. And so we really need to take a step back, and, and I think the president and his team and, and General Milley and his team and the Secretary of Defense are all focused on getting the accurate information so that we can assess and appropriately respond. Of course, the priority right now is to save American lives, and that's what the president's doing. Um, if the, the Chinese did dupe people, they duped the president of the United States as well, who said, as you know, General, back in January, that they, they were working hard on this, that uh, they were being very transparent. So was he fooled by them as well? No, I, I, I don't think so. I, I think what happened is, you know, intelligence, you read intelligence every single day, you make the best assessments that you get from uh, the uh, folks that you have in country and, and in the region, and you make assessments. And the assessments that were coming out were that this was not human to human. And then the president made a very good decision very early on. It was very unpopular uh, to shut down travel from China, I think based as much on intelligence as on instinct to shut down that travel, to, and that directly has saved tens of thousands of lives, uh, from my point of view, and then to shut down travel from Europe. And so as, as we got more clarity on the information, on what I would call the enemy situation uh, from my military days, you gain a better picture. It's like a movement to contact, as we used to call it, and you get more information every day as you go, as you as you get further into the situation, your information clarifies, and then you have uh, better and better responses, and you're able to overcome it and then uh, take over uh, the situation, as the president has done with his task force, and, and standing up that task force and doing the daily press briefings and getting the accurate information out there, despite, well, quite frankly, what the, the uh, much in the mainstream media has sided with China on this thing inexplicably. Uh, and, well, it's because uh, the the virus and the damage to the economy and to the health uh, and of uh, Americans, you know, it works against uh, the president. And so the the media wants that uh, to uh, to ha happen more to further that narrative. But uh, the president has been very strong on this. But there in my is opinion. still, General. There is still some culpability. There is still right. I mean, it doesn't mean it's easy to blame Monday morning quarterback now. But if Peter Navarro was warning him about stuff and all that. There were enough mistakes made that it's not exclusively on China, not exclusively on the World Health Organization, right? I, I would say this is exclusively uh, within the realm of China and China lies and China misinformation. There, there is. Uh, we should give no quarter kneel to China. There, there should be no, nothing spared. This is a communist dictatorship that hid the information. They shut down travel within their own country, but they allowed the virus to go to other right. countries. They intentionally allowed this to happen, and knowing how bad it was, and they shut down dissenters, they shut down whistleblowers, they shut down travel to protect themselves, but they let others that were infected to go right. around the world, and they've killed 150,000 people.
All right, so much we don't know, but you do raise a good question here that if we can't trust them on this medical issue, can we trust them on what they have promised us on, on trade? That's one of the issues we'll be getting into as well. In the meantime, General, thank you very, very much. We'll have more. Thank you, Neil.